Hey guys, welcome back to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV on Trending Today. Ex-Governor of Oyo State Abiola Jimobi is dead. Details in just a little bit. The former Governor of Oyo State Senator Abiola Jimobi is dead. He was aged 70. The former Governor of Oyo State who later served as a Deputy National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress died of an undisclosed ailment in a private hospital in Lagos. Although there had been reports of him contracting the COVID-19 and may have died of the complications from the disease. Last week, news of his death hit social media and was later debunked by his family members saying he was still alive although sources said he was in coma. Up until now, no official statement has been issued of his death. According to report, people have started tripping into his country home at Yemoja Street Oluyoli Estate Ibadan to confirm the news of his death. The late Ajimobi was born on 16th December 1949 into the Ajimobi family at Ojaiba Ibadan. His grandfather was Shobalojo of Ibadan land, a chief in the Royal Court of Ibadan. His uncle, Honorable N. A. Ajimobi, was Minister of Works and Transport in the Western Region, and his father, Pa Ajimobi, was also an honorable member of the House of Assembly in the Old Western Region. He started his education at St. Patrick's School in Ibadan and completed his primary education at Ibadan City Council Primary School, Akwari. His secondary school education was at Lagelu Grammar School. Ajimobi's university education was in the United States of America, where he studied business administration and finance at the State University of New York in Buffalo, New York, and graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree. His MBA was in operations research and marketing, with a concentration at finance at the Governor State University, University Park. In 2003, he became a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And Ajimobi was a principal officer in the Senate, serving as a deputy minority leader of the Senate. In 2007, he contested the gubernatorial election under the umbrella of the All Nigerian People's Party ANPP but lost. Ajimobi contested again in 2011 under the Action Congress of Nigeria and won. Ajimobi contested for a second term in an election that took place on April 11, 2015 under the All Progressive Congress against two of his predecessors in office, Otumba Christopher Lawa Akala and Senator Rashidi Adewolu Ladoja, and he won in becoming the first civilian governor of the state to be re-elected. Ajimobi was elected as the All Progressive Congress or your South senatorial candidate on the 28th of September 2018. And on March 9, 2019, he lost the Oyo South Senatorial District seat to the People's Democratic candidate Dr. Kola Balogun. Until his death, he was the Deputy National Chairman South of the All Progressive Congress. Abiola Jumobi was also popularly known for a viral video where he talked about constituted authority while addressing students of the Ladokia Kintola University. <laughs> Okay. Some of you, some of you, oh, you can me little respect for constituted authority, no matter what, no matter what. Three me by the rabbi, eight months of what? A Nicola did this school now, so what? It's not to call a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of Government and many governments 
they lack front. If they lack front, they must find a way to help the students. But if you come here and you are shouting at me, I'm not going to talk to you. This government will not tolerate nonsense from anybody. Let me tell you, in terms of events in the way, there is a wabi, or you can run, ah, oga, what is cool, ah, governor, eh? Hello, show me your school, hello. Hey, why? I'm on school, you. Oh, my shit. Show me your school, hello. Hello, I'm on school, you. Kill your car. What cost are you doing? What cost are you doing? Some of you, what cost are you doing? I can't see. Say I can't see. You know something? With your behavior, I'm not going to talk to you again. Okay? So, if you want to do anything, go and do it. I will do it for you. As reasonable people, and you are reasonable, then I'm not going to talk to you. I say yes, committee. I came out. She better know me. Me know me. This is the constituted authority for all your state. Even if I don't pay salaries, I don't pay this. The fact is that I'm the constituted authority. It does not remove that authority. wonderful people my name is Aniola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Aniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that this pandemic in the lab we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose mask to be protected above all guys let's stay safe so many things has been said about him and the leadership of the people's democratic party pdp have expressed sadness over the death of the former governor the PDP described his death as a national tragedy and a huge loss not only to the APC but also the state of Oyo and the entire nation. In a statement of condolence signed by the spokesman Kolao Logbondiyo, the PDP said it was still in shock and saddened over the news of the death of Senator Ajimobi, especially at this time when the nation needed his wealth of experience and statesmanship. Joining the list of those who have reacted to Ajimobi's death is the governor of Delta State, Ifan Yokoa, who tweeted on Thursday after the news broke. He said on a Twitter post, I just received the sad news of the passing of Senator Biola Ajimobi, the immediate past governor of Oyo State. At this difficult time, my prayers are with Florence, his wife, his entire family and the people of Oyo State. Also, the Minister of Sports, Sunday Dari, described Ajumobi's death as tragic and untimely. According to him, he wanted the senator to use his experience with COVID-19 to guide Nigeria through this difficult time. On his Twitter page, the minister wrote, The passing of my elder brother, Senator Biola Ajumobi, is both untimely and tragic. He served the good people of Oyo for so long and we wanted him to use his experience to guide us through the trying times. Sadly, Dusk came too early and we must bid good night. Sonre Are of Ibadan. My prayers and thoughts go out to his wife and the family at this time of their sorrow. The Lord that comforts will comfort them and grant them inner peace that passes all understanding. R.I.P. Senator Biola Jumobi. The Lord gave and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This death of one of the foremost political leaders of our time concentrates the mind. It is mumbling, saddening, but we surrender to the will of our Creator. From all of us at Eniola Badmas TV, we pray that his soul rests in peace and we also pray that God consoles his family. 
And that's what's happening right now, guys. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyola Badmos TV. See you soon.